Lexi Dean here, welcome to my channel. Here on this channel you'll find all things pink, girly, glitz, and glam, so if you're into things like that, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. So today I'm bringing you a Bath & Body Works haul from two different days of when I went shopping. Um, so I know you guys are already familiar with the infamous Candle Day. I got a whole bunch of candles on Candle Day and I'm just not doing my video for that, but hey, better late than never, right? And then I also want to bring to you, they had their stocking stuffer day as well, like a day after or like a couple of days after Candle Day. And um, I went in store because it was in store only and got a couple of those as well. So I'm going to show you those two hauls today. So if you're interested in this video, then stay tuned. Okay, so we're going to start with candles because Candle Day was first. So I decided that I was going to order my candles online and then at the last minute, I tell you, like I kid you not, at 12 o'clock a.m. I texted my sisters and I was like, do you guys want to go in that store tomorrow for Candle Day? And they were like, yeah, let's do it. So my store in the mall ended up opening up at 5 a.m. And we got there, we got up at 4 a.m. And we got there around like 4.40 and we were like maybe the fourth person in line um, because there wasn't a lot of people there that early at least. And then there, more people started coming and trickling in after that, but everybody that was there was basically allowed in the store because it wasn't a lot of people there that early. So. <laughs> Um, I'm glad I got there when I did, but the thing is, with the candles that were in store, it wasn't a good selection to me, to be honest. And so, I ended up purchasing maybe like six candles from in store, and then as soon as we got done with that, I hurried up, got online, because by the time we got home, it was about, um, it was about like 4.45, so I still had time to, you know, figure out what I wanted to do online because candle day didn't start till 6 a.m. Eastern time. Um, and so I decided that I wanted to order some candles online as well because my favorite candle is Pink Fairy Gumdrop and my store didn't have any. I asked the sales associate and she was like, we sold out way before, you know, obviously candle day. She was like, and I was like, really? And she was like, yeah, that's a popular candle. So I was like, okay, so I got back home went online and ordered a whole bunch of candles a whole bunch of more th that i actually wanted there was a couple that i wanted that i wasn't able to get um some of my order got canceled like it's a lot um but then at the end of the day bath and body works did end up sending me a 20 percent coupon for the candles that did get canceled so i'm happy about that um but without further ado enough of me rambling i'm gonna go ahead and just show you the candles that i purchased and i'm so excited to show you guys so there's no particular order that I'm, I'm going to go in today. Um, so I'm just gonna grab them, they're right here beside me and let's get into it. So um, this is an online exclusive because, I don't know why it's just an online exclusive, but I did wanna pick up one of these. So I picked up Cucumber Melon. Um, and it looks like this. And I love it so much. Like, I love the packaging of this one. Um, I wish the wax was pink, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, but this is what that one looks like. It smells amazing. I love cucumber melon. Um, but I just uh, wanted to at least have one of these in my candle stash. I probably won't burn this one, but I did want to have one of these in my stash. Um, so the scent notes in cucumber melon are crisp cucumber, watery honeydew, summer cantaloupe, um, sparkling grapefruit sheer woods so this is uh, this and notes of this one it smells so good so I picked up this one I only got one of these the next one I have is winter and it looks like this I love winter I don't know if you could see it or not um, but I picked up winter as well so winter it smells like winter like for real it smells like I don't even know how to explain it. it smells like firewood like snow I don't know but the scent notes in winter are white woods pine needles sparkling clementine spiced clove and it just looks like this and I love it I love it I love it I love it I don't know if it's gonna 
pick it up. Here, let me show. Let me turn this down so you can see it. So this is what winter looks like. So pretty. Okay, so the next one I picked up was A Thousand Wishes. So this is the A Thousand Wishes packaging in store. The one online is actually pink. Uh, which I prefer, obviously, because I'm a pink girl. But um, I do, I did pick up two of these when I went in store. Two or three of these. It smells amazing. If you have never smelled um, A Thousand Wishes, you need to get this one because it's my absolute favorite. One of my favorites, at least. I have a couple. But the scent notes in A Thousand Wishes are sparkling champagne, crystal peonies, um, almond cream, or creme, whatever. So it looks like this once again, and I love this one. It's so pretty, and it just smells amazing. So I picked up that one. The next one I picked up was Pink Apple Punch, and I really, I honestly don't like the scent of this one, but I really picked this one up because I liked the packaging on this one. Um, it's super pretty. The packaging's so pretty, and I liked the wax color as well. It's like a purplish pink color. It smells good, but I just, I don't know. I just, it's not my favorite. And I like the lid on this one too. I don't know if I showed you that, but look at the lid on this one. It's so cute. So I picked up this one as well. Okay, so this one right here, I don't know how I feel about it. This is a white barn one and it's called Paris Cafe. And it looks like this. It is super strong. This one is like super duper strong. Um, and it smells like just straight coffee, straight coffee beans. Like, oh my gosh, it's like so overpowering. It overpowers every candle that I have. When I walk in my room, the first thing I smell is this candle. It is very overpowering. It smells good. Like, like I said, it smells like a coffee shop or something like that. Um, but I don't know where I'm going to put this one because I don't want it to like overpower everything else. So I'm still trying to figure out where I'm gonna put it. But the scent notes in this one are rich roasted coffee, sugared brooch, um, and vanilla creme. And it just looks like this. Once again. And yeah. So this is that one. Very strong. If you're looking for a strong candle, this is one to get because honey, this is so strong. So, so, so strong. So, a new one that I wanted to try, I've been wanting to try this, um, so I ended up picking up two of these online, and it was this one. They didn't have this one in my store, so I picked it up online, and it is this one, You're the One. Um, I don't like the packaging, it's red. I don't like red, really, I prefer pink, but this is what this one looks like, and it smells good. It's more of a floral scent. Now, I do like the wax of this one. Look at this. Pink wax. Love it. But it is a floral scent. And the scent notes in this one are white birch, velvety rose, and a drop of strawberry nectar. So, this is this one. And, yeah. That's that one. Um, the next one I have, which I really wanted to try this one. So, I ordered three of these in my first purchase. Um, yeah, I, I ordered three of these in my first purchase and then I made another purchase as well because online you're only allowed to um, check out with 18 candles. So I had to do two purchases because I wanted more than 18. Um, so this is one of the ones that I got. I got three of these and it's called Vanilla Bean Marshmallow and it looks like this. It's so pretty. I like this one. I like the packaging. I like the wax color. It smells amazing. It does have that like vanilla bean smell to it. I like that. So the scent notes for vanilla bean marshmallow are a comforting vanilla fragrance that evokes the sweetness of homemade marshmallow. Okay, good description. <laughs> so this is vanilla bean marshmallow once again. So it's just so cute. I like the wax. It's just so pretty, the packaging. So cute. I wish I could have got more of these. I really do. But this is Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. Um, but about this one. So I ordered three online and then I tried to order an additional like one or two of them. 
in my next order and it got canceled. So I guess they sold out um, before I could, you know, get that one. So it was okay. I have three of them. I don't make, I don't plan on like burning all of them anyway. So I'm fine with that. One of my favorites for the holiday season for Christmas is the perfect Christmas. And let me tell you about this one. So I got this one on in store. It looks like this. It's actually super pretty packaging. Like the packaging is so pretty. I love it so much. So about this one, the packaging, it has like Santa and the reindeer on it. It smells like Christmas in a candle. And I love this one. So the scent notes in this one are fresh cut pine, cinnamon, sugar, toasted marshmallow. And it smells so good. So I went in store and I really wanted this one. I could not find it. I walked around the store and then I saw one lonely one sitting on top of a whole bunch of other candles. You don't know how fast I grabbed this candle. I, <laughs> I kind of like ran over there and I grabbed it so fast. So from what I saw, this was the only one. Um, but I'm not sure, but I know I needed at least one of these. So I wanted to order more online, but they didn't even have the perfect candle. Uh, the perfect Christmas online. So this is the only one I have. So I do not plan on burning this one. I'm going to keep this one um, in the condition that, that it's in as of right now. And I love this one so much. It just smells like Christmas in a container. Like I love it so much. So uh, I got this one. Love it. Wish I would have got more. Could have got more, but Bath and Body Works doesn't want me to be great. So the next one, if you hear dogs, I'm sorry. My dogs are working. So the next one I have is Champagne Toast and it looks like this. I like Champagne Toast. Like I love Champagne Toast. This is one of my favorites in the candle and the body care. Um, I like both of these. It smells amazing. So there's actually two different packaging for Champagne Toast that they have. So I got both of them. Um, I, ordered, I got these in store. I got these in store and then I think I ordered a couple of more online when I went online. Um, so this is what this one looks like. Let's see if I can show you guys what it looks like. It might be washing it out a little bit, I'm sorry. But it looks like this. And I really like this one so much. I prefer out of the packaging because they're both white wax. Um, but look at the lid on this one. Oh my gosh, it's like little gingerbread houses or little houses, it's so cute. But this one's just like the geometric look. So yeah, that's that. But I prefer actually this one because I just like the packaging on this one. I like the fact that it has like a little mouse on here. It's so cute. Um, this one's pretty too with the snowflakes, but I do prefer this one. So I think I got more of these than I did these. But I wanted to have this one in my stash as well. So I got that one as well. And last but not least for the candles, I got my favorite, the infamous, Pink Fairy Gumdrop. I get this one every year. Um, and they brought this one back this year. And I'm so excited that they did. This one, once again, has the geometric lid. And this one smells amazing. Before I tell you that, I'm going to tell you what the scent notes on Champagne Toast were. It's bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, um, juicy tangerine. So that's Champagne Toast. But for this one, the scent notes on this one are sparkling sugared berries. Pink cotton candy. I love cotton candy so much. That's why I love this candle because the candy, the candy scent and like the cotton candy scent, my favorite. Um, and then sprinkle of fairy dust. So it's just so cute. I love how this one has like the peekaboo window right here. So I love this candle so much that I end up ordering 21 of these because I had actually purchased more, some more like um beforehand like months before when they had like different sales but i had to rack up on these because this is my all-time favorite last year i missed out and i had to actually buy my pink fairy gum drop candles from a second uh second hand seller on ebay because by the time i went back last year to order more it was sold out and so um i was like this year i am not missing out I actually do prefer the packaging of last year's Pink Fairy Gumdrop than this year, but it's okay. This one's still cute. And I love this scent so much. 
so so much that's why i got so many of them and i just love it so much so if you have not tried the pink free gum job you need to try that one it smells so good and then when you light it that's what i have like lit in the background it smells amazing guys so much so in total for my candle day haul i ended up getting 41 candles I already had candles, but I had to pick up more because I just love candles so much, like so much. So like when I love something, I buy a whole bunch of them because I just have to because I don't want to run out of them because you never know if it's going to be there next year. Like you just never know. So I would definitely say if you like something, get multiples of them because you just never know. If it's gonna be there next year like you just never know so so that is what I got in the candles 41 candles later a couple of my order got canceled but it's okay because I didn't need those anyways so the ones that got canceled like I said was the vanilla bean marshmallow um, I ordered what else did I order oh I tried to order more of the um, champagne toast no not champagne toast it was um, a thousand wishes in the pink um, the pink one okay so i went and got the um last year's version of pink three gum drop and it looks like this so this one is so pretty um the wax is actually pink which i love that about it i love the label on this one and i wish they would have just brought this back just like this but you know they always have to switch it up which this one is cute too you can like look at the two um they're both really pretty but i do prefer this one because the wax is pink but this is the packaging from last year versus this year and then a thousand wishes so this was the in-store version of a thousand wishes um it looks like this and this was the online version of a thousand wishes and this one looks like this so the wax on the online version of a thousand wishes is pink it's pink it's so pretty So pretty. So that was another one that I wish they would have just, you know, put this in store um, the same way. But this one's pretty too. So yeah. So I just wanted to, to show you guys those and the comparison between the two. Um, and yeah. Okay. So now we're going to go into the stocking stuffer day haul. So everything for stocking stuffer day was $275. Um, so the things that were included in the, that day were travel sized items, um, lip glosses, along with a couple of their um, hand sanitizer. I think it was just the spray one. So here is my bag from Stocking Stuffer Day. I have my bag right here. And some of this stuff I did not obviously get um, a discount on just because it wasn't on sale. And I didn't have a coupon, so I'm just gonna go with what I see. So basically, I got Winter Wonder Berry. Um, it looks like this. Okay, so I turned the lighting down so you guys can actually see what I am showing you. So I got Winter Wonder Berry, and she looks like this. And the travel size, and then I ended up getting the shimmer or the diamond shimmer mist as well because they didn't have the spray they only had the shimmer mist and the winter wonder berry so i got this as well and then i ended up getting the travel size champagne toast so i got these two as well And then I just got one of these because I don't think they had um, the lotion in this one. So I got You're the One in the spray because they didn't have the lotion. Unfortunately, so I got You're the One in the spray. So I've always wanted to try Bath & Body Works lip products, but they're like seven bucks, eight bucks just for one little lip gloss. And I refuse to pay eight dollars for a little tube of lip gloss. So. I looked up and they had their lip products on sale as well. So their, all their lip products were $275 as well. So I racked up on those. So the first one I got was this one. And this one is um, Pearl Mint. 
and it looks like this. It's so pretty. It's like a pink, a nude pink color. Then I got Frosted Kiss, which looks like this. So pretty. Then I got um, Violet Mint, which looks like this. Looks like this. This one's more like a, a purplish color, a plum color. That's what it looks like. Then I got Winter Berry. Looks like this. Along with, um, this is Bare Mint. Looks like this. And I got Twisted Peppermint which looks like this. And then I got Rose Balm. So this one looks like this. This one's cute. And then let's see here. I got a couple more in here. Couldn't hold in my hand. Okay, and then I ended up getting um, winter candy apple as well, which looks like this. Um, so I, I really, really, really wanted to see if I could get my hands on the, um, I think they had a gumdrop one. So kind of like the pink fairy gumdrop theme, pink fairy gumdrop theme. And, um, they didn't have it in my store. I guess that one sold out like super quick. So I wasn't able to get that one. I don't know if I should do this one either. So this one's iced blush. And it looks like this, like a pink color. So I got this one. Um, and then I got this one as well. So this is actually their lip scrub and it's a blue, it's actually pretty. It's like in a blue container and it looks like this and it's actually super pretty. So this is this one. And this is called Mint Drop, Mint Drop. And then I wanted to try their nourishing lip tints. So I got four of those. And the ones I got was soft pink. So I got soft pink. I got, what's this? Um, Velvet Mocha. And then I got, let's see, this one is Royal Plum. It looks like this and last but not least for the lip products I got um, this one is classic nude and it just looks like this so I like these these are cute um and last but not least so I like I said I ordered I purchased stuff that was not on sale but I really wanted it because I've seen people with it and I just think it's so cute so I got um, two of their wallflower plugs and I got the unicorn wallflower plugs. They're just so cute. Oh my gosh. They're just so adorable. Like, look at this. They're so pretty. They're pink and I want more. So I'm probably going to get more of these babies because they're just so cute. Um, so I got two of these and these are originally $12.50 each. So I got two of those. And then I saw this when I was over there as well, and I had to have this. Um, and this is just a car scent portable holder. Um, so I got this because I just thought it was so cute. And I love this. So I got this one, super cute. And last but not least, I actually had a coupon and um, it was like, um, what is this? Thirteen fifty? Yeah, thirteen fifty. A free product for thirteen fifty. So I just ended up getting the bigger version of Winterberry. So it just looks like this. So that's what I got. So that is it for this. <laughs> My lip products are falling on me. But that is it for this haul. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. I'll see you guys later. Bye.